apologize for my puck. As always, let's get this shit going with some red alert stuff. Red alert. Do, 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 do. Is it a red alert? Not really. I'm not telling you any bad news. We're energizing the weapons now. It's not really necessary. But here we are. So, welcome. Welcome back, everybody. Intruder alert. Hey, Chuck. What's up, Chuck? Vomit, puke. That's what it is. Anyway, bad joke, I know. That's what I do. I do dad jokes. Alrighty. You're fine. Yeah, I know. You're fine. Don't know why you're so out of breath. You just came up the stairs. Oh, that's right, because you're fat and you're a pug. Not a whole lot is up, says Chuck. Well, good to see you anyway. What is up with my hair? I don't know. It's just all fucky. Look at this. Look at this. Silliness. Anyhow. Um, so how is everybody this evening? Uh, yes, good to see you as well, Chuck. Well, I've got to actually tilt this down just a, a tad. Just a pubic hair or two. We got lots of red alert things going on over here. I don't know why. Has one of you been bad? And that's something I should maybe know about. I don't know. <coughs> well, well, well. What shall we talk about tonight? I don't know. That's up to you guys, as always. You won't remember this live anyway tomorrow. It's fine. It's one of those lives. Sending you some mystical energy. And uh, yeah, you're not going to remember anything we talk about tonight, which is fine. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I need a drink of water. Just saying I'm parched. All right, Samuel, latest fan film was really great as always. Well, be sure to tell him. I mean, you be sure to tell him because he likes to hear that kind of thing. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Live in the dream and all that. So we have five people watching, five likes, which is great. Only Chuck A has commented. Who else is here and lurking? You might as well comment now because I'll find out. I have my ways. It's fine. I, I, I don't need to know anything, really. Hi, uh, hi, Lola. You okay? Yeah, you're okay. I know. You. I know you are. Trust me. Just trust me when I say, oh, you'll, you'll be okay. There. That's probably better and stuff. Um, so, uh, on the weekend, we released the Exeter class video over on Trek Yards. It's got some pretty good reviews on it right now, which is awesome. It's one of the STO ships, one of the poster child STO ships, if you will, because it was like the first one. It's like a Connie, but not, and it's one of the ones they used in all their promotions and marketing for the early stuff for STO. View-wise, it seems like you guys are enjoying it. And I got two pugs panting.
if I had if I if I had it set up for it, you could hear it in stereo. One's on the right, one's on the left, and Dot is sound asleep in the middle. You guys are insane. Complete pause here. I've commented. Your comments must only be on the top comments. They're not. I just checked. They are on all messages, and that's the first comment I've seen from you. So, and if you don't believe me, look at the log. That's the log. Chuck, 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 fleet paw, chuck, fleet paw. So, and let's see. What's the chat filter say? Look, it's on all messages. Do you see? All messages is checked. All messages. That's all, as in A L L. All. Chuck says that's all he sees too. So, Fleet Paw, you have lied. The lie detector determined that that was a lie. See? Chuck's on my side. He knows what's up. Fleet Paw, are you living in a virtual reality? YouTube must be censoring you. Oh, no, I don't think so. Because I'm seeing these messages now. Spare change says hello. Hello, spare change. Do you have any spare change that I may borrow? It all helps. Throw in a super chat. Two bucks. It's your spare change, after all. Good to see you. <clears throat> uh, STLV in four months. Yes coming up fast my god and uh, so my birth in may they have my birthday and beginning of june end of may is wonderfest and then yes we have stlv in august i still gotta get, a, get my plane tickets and stuff but everything else is kind of taken care of so that's that's a good thing um yeah that's already stressing stressing me out actually so thanks for the reminder, Chuck. It's much appreciated. <laughs> but it'll be nice to see you there. Fleet Pass said, because I asked who the sexy mother motherfucker was. That'd be you. You looking in a mirror again? Seeing your reflection in the, the screen of your phone or something? Uh, SC Scout Guy, Stuart, I like the Star Trek magazine shorts. Did you? Well... I have some good shorts coming up in the next couple weeks. So I'm glad you like the magazine ones. I wasn't sure if those would be good, but, uh, you know, a few people have commented that they like them. So there's a lot of really good stuff in those magazines and definitely stuff that will be worthy of doing videos on, either on Trek Yards or over here on the Captain Foley personal channel. So hopefully you guys will get a benefit from me getting that complete collection. It was awesome. All the variable covers everything. It's the entire collection. And that's friggin' great. So. <clears throat> uh, getting my vendors table merchandise ready soon. Awesome, awesome. Shana Sullivan, changing test. What planet was Khan marooned on? God! He was marooned on City Alpha 5. This is City Alpha 5? City Alpha 6 exploded six months after we were left here. The shock shifted the orbit of this planet and everything was laid waste. Admiral Kirk never bothered to check on our progress. Allow me to introduce you, allow me to introduce you to City Alpha 5's only remaining indigenous life form. They're young, enter through the ear, and wrap themselves around the cerebral cortex. This causes the victim extremely... This causes... Victim susceptible suggestion. Breaking, breaking. Yeah, anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, spare change, $2. Here's some spare change. <laughs> Love your fits. Thank you. I was kidding, but thank you. And that's, uh, let's celebrate their third Super Chat on a live stream. So thank you for your spare change. Much appreciated. I was just joking, but I really appreciate that. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for enjoying the videos. Make sure you like and comment and do all the things. But thank you. 
Chuck A. Kian. Cortex. Hey, Checkernauts here. See, now the room's getting full. Now people are commenting. Anyhow, um, Olam Drab says, what's up, everyone? What's up? So yeah, um, I go back to the Exeter video. Uh, if you've checked it out, I hope you enjoyed it. And there are more uh, ship videos like that coming in the, in the next weeks. So, anywho, um, plus we have a new live sh uh, show format for you guys, which you'll find out after April 1st. So I think we're going to start them in April. So, but anyway, Fleet Pie knows what it is pretty fun. We've done a test run. It's amazing. Um, check or not, if you stream it, we shall come. Are you talking about porn? Track or not. Track or not. You're so dirty. Chuck A, great. And you, oh, you're, yeah, okay. Good, thanks. Everybody's, you guys are having a conversation. That's fine. That's fine and dandy and all that jazz. Uh, next week's video on this channel might be a little bit of a departure, but it's just a quick video that I did up, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, and like I said, the next couple of shorts on Friday is going to be, they're going to be something pretty cool. So hopefully you will check those out as well. And uh, I think probably the following week, so a week from this upcoming Wednesday, I think I'll do another... Um, shelf by shelf video and uh start adding to that uh playlist the shelf by shelf chapter three i still don't know what i shall name that chapter but it's all star trek related so we'll figure something out i'm sorry for the pugs i, I apologize for all the weird guttural noises uh First one to ask for a spoiler gets. First one to ask for a spoiler gets airlocked. Oh, for the new live show, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But yes. Yeah, so anyway, that's the situation, and uh, some really good stuff coming up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and I'd like to encourage everybody that if you check out my videos to comment on them. Just more than a thumbs up. Thank you, Chris Willem. Every video, he gives me a thumbs up, and that's great. It helps. It helps the algorithm, but I kind of like to hear what you guys think about the videos so I know which direction to steer my video making in because uh, I don't want to go too off the rails, but you guys don't enjoy it or something. So let me know. Keep me posted. You know, you know the routine. <clears throat> Trekking Out says, where is the fun in knowing? The fun is in the unknown. It's not about the journey. It's the friends you make along the way. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. Uh, Ramona Flowers. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. Hi, Captain. Are we going to watch the Northern Lights tonight? No. Why? Are you going to watch can we see them tonight? If so, give me the details. If the if it's one of those ones where it's a, it's visible this far south, then let me know because uh, I'll, I'll I'll go outside at a certain time and check it out. I've been in the Rocky Mountains, man. Oh my God. The, okay, <laughs> the mountains you see in pictures and videos all the time, and they look fantastic, right? They're nothing compared to the majesty of being there. It's a completely different feeling. The mountains are amazing. Uh, and also to see the Northern Lights while in the Rocky Mountains is insane. Plus when I went to see my buddy Jay uh, two years ago, yeah, two years ago, I think. Um, so he, he lives in Grand Prairie, Alberta. And my God, the Northern Lights were so beautiful. Like, so, like, it's just stunning. So, yeah, if, if I can see him tonight, I'll, I'll go out and take a look. But you got to give me the deets. Or I'll look it up after the live, maybe. But I don't want to have missed it by then. Because that would suck. 
Um, b -b 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 check A, Prodigy Season 2 released in France. Yep, and the French fucked up. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Uh, the Hagermans, Aaron Moltke, they're all like pretty pissed off about that. So I haven't, uh, we're not going to talk about it. Uh, we're not going to look at spoilers or anything uh, or hear, listen to spoilers. I'm just going to ignore them. So looking forward to when it finally does actually drop. <clears throat> Somebody's getting fired over that, I'm sure. Shauna Sullivan, looking forward to chapter three all by my shelf. Pipa said the tattoo one was good. I literally came from here to or there to here. Really? Did you like that? I, I, I've been wanting to do a tattoo video like that on Star Trek tattoos for a while. And I thought, no, nah, so, what time is better than now? So I, yeah, I did that one up and I'm glad people are enjoying it. Uh, I would like people to submit their own tattoos so that I can like roast them. Yeah, that is, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought it was a good idea for, cause I've seen some wonky goddamn Star Trek tattoos over the years and I'm like, I got things to say about this shit. So all the ones I picked for the first one were kind of all right. There are some really bad ones, which maybe the next one will just focus on bad ones. That might be fun. So anyway, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. That was also a little bit of a departure from normal videos, but. Shana Sullivan, help me cap. My wife complains I never bought her flowers. I didn't even know she sold flowers. Shana Sullivan, my good sir. You should always be deflowering your wife. Moving on. Oh, bump. Ramona says, there's a geometric storm making even north, north parts of the USA able to see them. I'm in Texas, so way too far. But Canada is in the zone, at least most of it. Mm, well, I'll have to check it out. Was there a specific time, they said? Eastern Standard Time would be good. Because I will check it out. What is this shit? Fleet Paw. <laughs> oh, <that's> so funny. <coughs> You're killing me, Fleet Paw. He sent me a picture of his Klingon Bird of Prey tattoo. Get it? It's, it's cloaked. At least it's his arm and not his leg. I'm, I'm just saying. You should see my whale probe tattoo. Only mine's like a, you know, a whale probe in the Star Trek IV was a, a cruiser. Mine's a dreadnought it's got two balls. But yeah. <clears throat> so that's the thing that I just said. Chuck A says, I live near the Rocky Mountains. Oh my God, you lucky bastard. SC Scout Guy, yeah, the storm is going to make it to where all of Ontario can see them apparently. Wow. That's crazy. Sean O'Sullivan, damn French. They ruined Canada. Zachary Gibbons, have you seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire yet? If so, we, uh, what would be your review of it? I haven't seen it yet. I also haven't seen Dune 2 yet, so I, I have no review of it, except I hope it's good. Check or not, tattoos are like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're going to get. Unless you have a good tattoo artist, then you know exactly what you're going to get. So I'm glad I know a good tattoo artist that owns a few tattoo shops in the area. So he's a good guy. He, he did my tattoo. So, um, which I designed myself, which he probably would have wanted to redesign, but... I, it was a drawing I did that I felt kind of strongly about, so I got it tattooed. You guys don't want to see it, do you? No? Okay. Um, <clears throat> roast my Klingon Bird of Prey tattoo. It's absolute garbage. 
so many technical inaccuracies. The angle of those wings in attack formation was completely wrong. You had the um, cloaking ring around the front of the, the head section of the, of the bird of prey completely too low. And also, I would assume the wrong color, but it's hard to tell with the cloaked one. Um, you know, also the plating detail on the wings was a little bit off. So, Fleet Paw, you can do better. Um, <clears throat> Shano Sullivan, if you don't like All By Your Shelf, there's also I Touched My Shelf. Me, My Shelf, and I. Me, My Shelf, and I is really good. And I Touch My Shelf. That's good, too. See, I need you on my creative team, Sean. General Grievous, All By My Shelf. I don't want to be All By My Shelf. I don't know the tune, so... Olam Drab, he, I don't have any Trek tats, or maybe I would. Even if it's just sci-fi. Uh, plus, one of Sylvia's tattoos is in that video. General Grievous, at least Fleet Pod doesn't have a Bird of Prey tramp stamp. He does. That's where it's in uh, flight configuration with the wings straight out. He does have one, from what I've heard. I haven't seen it yet, though. But the one on his arm is the attack configuration. I think he has a landing one on his leg, so it's like attack, flight, and yeah, I think I think that's that's the, that's the deal, but I'm not sure. I have no proof. Trek or not, get the bird of prey done with UV tat inks that only show up under UV light. Yeah, that'd be cool. They do have those. Fleet Paw, it could have been, it could have been much worse. Zachary says, cloaked. A bird of prey cannot fire while she's cloaked. Apparently this one can. Olivia, $5. Fully, I'm here. I got a scant. I won the auction. Yay. I'm like the fonts. Only I'm cooler than the fonts. Trek or not, you are your own art. You are your own artwork that way. When, when, you, when you get a tattoo of something you drew? Yeah, I guess so. Sean Sullivan, knock, knock. Tat, tat who? No, thanks. I already have one. Have you seen my Klingon Warbird? Olivia, sounds like you're shellfish. That's a good one, too. You people, I don't know about you. Fleetpaw, I know. I have brought shame and dishonor to my house. So just a normal day at the office then, Fleetpaw. Are you working right now, Fleetpaw? Are you out on the road or are you at home? I think you're at home based on the video you sent to the uh, one chat today. Hmm. Glad you could make it. I'm glad you could all make it. I'm glad you're all here. Pull up a seat, grab a beer. Grab a drink of your choice, water, coffee, orange juice, chocolate milk, fruit juice, Kool-Aid, beer. And, and enjoy. Sit down and hang out with me. <clears throat> Zachary says, when I think about the ship, when I think about my ships, I touch my shelf. It's, it's going to be one of those nights, isn't it? Fleetbot says, I am home. Olivia says, she is far from home, but near Fleetpaw's home. Um, let's see. Feed me Seymour's slippers, cigarettes, and a fine glass of scotch, roaring fire, and trek yards. Morning, Captain. Morning, Feed me Seymour. Well, you said slippers, which made me think of something funny. Um, no. Let's see, where is it? Um... So... 
As you guys know, I go to London Comic Con with the captain's chair. And uh, one year I did a pretty funny, I wouldn't say a cosplay, it's just a, a, a uniform outfit. And I uh, posted pictures of that after the, after the convention and somebody sent me this, which I laughed out loud. And I recently just came across it again, like two days ago. And uh, I have to share with you guys, because you said slippers, did you not? Samuel. Fetch my slippers. Got the uh, captain's hat, the, the pipe, the Star Trek ascot, the, the Star Trek robe. But uh, Samuel, fetch my slippers. I forget who made this, but thank you. This is hilarious. This is comedy gold. Samuel, fetch my slippers. He's like my Alfred, you see. This is the way. All right. <clears throat> John O'Sullivan, note shelf. Stop making puns. Olivia Julius, I'm away a lot more than Fleet Paw will ever be. Nowhere near Fleet Paw. I'm closer than you think. Nowhere near Fleet Paw. I'm closer than you think. Trek or not, any plans to get the Transformer Mobile out on the road? Yeah, once it's fucking warm. It's actually pretty warm today, like 14 degrees Celsius. Actually, it was up to 15 at one point. Nice day, nice day. The problem is, um, it was nice, and then it got snowy again, and it got nice, and it got snowy again, and it got nice again. And every time it gets snowy, the dipshits in the city and the... the uh, county they put down salt and sand on the roads so the dumbasses who don't know how to drive in snow don't slide into a ditch right so there's salt all over the road i don't want to go driving and whipping up salt into the undercarriage it's not good for it so i'm gonna wait have to wait for a good rain um for that stuff to kind of clear up so i don't know it'll be i'd say within like two three weeks maybe two weeks uh it'll be time to fire it up and take her for a spin maybe i'll take you guys with me maybe i'll do a video on the camaro people have been asking for more camaro videos so i don't know maybe that'll be something that i'll have on the, the personal channel here we'll see we'll see Uh, Phoebe Seymour, I was thinking about 80s and 90s cartoon series that was iconic, but only got one season. Cartoon series that only got one season? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me the titles. We'll talk about it. Sean O'Sullivan, do you have a drawing of your shelves? You know, a shelf portrait. Olivia, are you shelf aware? Oh my God. Shana Sullivan, what's the song by your friend Justice Beaver above your shelf? Zachary Gibbons, I watched the first two episodes of X-Men 97. It was good. People were concerned, and rightfully so, after the producer was fired, but the first two episodes were good. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I've been told I should. Uh, so, well, maybe I'll check it out. Feed me Seymour, if you ever became a fisherman, that's the bridge of your ship. Okay. Sean Sullivan, did you see X-Men 97, Seymour? Uh, perhaps, Olivia, but I can get into Canada, whereas you're banned in Canada. Yep. Feed me Seymour. I watched the X-Men 97 and thought it was good, but what's with Rogue Magneto Gambit Love Triangle? I know it happened in the comics, but never really appeared in animated series. Well, it does now, so you're wrong. <laughs> it's obviously appeared in an animated series. So, yeah, I don't know. Spoilers, by the way. I haven't watched any of it yet, but hey, it's all right. I don't know if I care that much. We'll see. I'd watch X-Men occasionally. Never watched all of them, but 
usually after the opening credits, I was like, I can change the channel now. Uh, fleet pilot, I already applied for my passport, and I've lost weight. Your shelf has a name, Shelly. You should be ashamed of your shelf, Olivia. Has a real double on Contra. Hmm. That's okay. Um, you should take more photos with your shelves or shelfies if you wish, or if you will. Thank you, Sean. I get it. I get the joke. Jimmy Seymour, Bucky O'Hare. Mm -mm. uh, Go bots. Go bots needed more seasons. Pirates of Dark Water. I've heard the name. I don't think I've ever seen it. Visionaries, fight with the magical light. Visionaries was great. The toys were awesome. Just saying. Toxic Crusaders, never really was into. Uh, Galaxy High School, mm, never watched it. All one seasons, 89 to 90s cartoons. Trek or not, do you keep a catalog of your collections, Cap? A catalog of the collections? Not really, no. Um, depends. Like my 3D Blu-rays, I do have photos of all of them on my phone. Just so if I'm out in the wild and I see one, I gotta see if I have it or not. Um, also my DVD collection, I have all those in case I need to look up a title, see if I have it. Other than that, I mean, I did do that years and years and years ago. I kind of cataloged everything, but it was all written down. I don't know what happened to it. Plus. Every five minutes, something new is getting added to the collection, so those become mute, mute after a point. So, not mute, moot, moot, M O O T, not mute as in. Moot, M O O T, not mute. Anyway, <clears throat> Zachary Gibbons, yeah, had to be a 90s kid like me to enjoy X Men cartoon. Watched it on Fox Kids along with Spider-Man and Power Rangers, Animaniacs, etc. Didn't say I didn't watch it. I watched it. I just didn't watch all of them. And I also watched Animaniacs and a few other things. Did not watch Power Rangers because that's just dumb. And that's just a waste of everyone's time. And uh, Spider-Man, I was never a really a big Spider-Man fan, even... Even after the Tobey Maguire movies, I just always thought Spider-Man was kind of whiny and annoying and uh, never really actually kind of liked Spider-Man until Tobey Maguire. Not Tobey Maguire, sorry. Tom Holland. Um, Tobey Maguire, uh, Maguire movies got me interested a little bit in it. Uh, Andrew Garfield, I thought was great. and uh, But yeah, the, the new ones are, I think, now I actually care a little bit about the character. The only thing I really cared about in the uh, Spider-Man comics or anything was Mary Jane because they always had like nice shots of her, you know, so. But that makes me, that makes me a dirty boy. Uh, feed me Seymour. Does anyone remember the Mighty Max cartoon? Mighty Max was a male-oriented Polly Pockets toy. I thought the Mighty Max cartoon was pretty good. I never watched Mighty Max. I watched Mighty Mouse, but not Mighty Max. Sean O'Sullivan fully supposedly has two Highlander swords. Everyone knows there can be only one. Sean, why? Why? Why do you gotta bust my balls all the time? Uh, Olivia, I might need to order a Fleet Paul doll. Maybe it's time. I was just talking to Sylvia's mom today, and she said that you had ordered some stuff. So, yay! 
while she was actually talking to Sylvia on speakerphone. And she's like, you know Stuart's friend Olivia? I'm like, friend? She's a co-worker. She's a moderator. She's not even a co-worker. She's my employee. A friend. <laughs> Whatever. Talk to the pa, because this bitch ain't listening. <sighs> Feed me Seymour, Fox Kids in the 90s. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Shit. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was all right. Uh, my ex-wife was huge into Sailor Moon. Like, huge into Sailor Moon. So, you know, there's certain things to like about Sailor Moon. I'm just saying. Uh, Pokemon, also kind of shit. X-Men, the animated series. That was good. Spider-Man, the animated series. Mm -hmm. It was such a great channel. Fox Kids was a great channel. Pinky and the Brain? Absolutely. What are we going to do tonight, Brain? Same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. The pinky and the brain. Pinky and the brain. One is a genius. The other's insane. I fucking love pinky and the brain. Are you kidding? Anyhow. <clears throat> Zachary Gibbons. There can be only one. Highlander Club. Feed me Seymour. You should do a trivia night where you play old cartoon theme songs. Sure not sassy captain alert. Psh. Zachary Gibbons, did you see Disney Plus is also going to be releasing the next Doctor Who? I have never watched that series. Might have to look into it. I get the idea of it, just never sat and watched it. Oh, you have such an adventure on your hands. One that I will never embark on. There's a lot of goddamn Doctor Who. Uh, Terrence Childs is here. What are we doing? You're looking at it. Just sitting here talking. Hanging out with you guys. This is the way. And all that jazz. <clears throat> Feed me Seymour Hong Kong Fooey. <laughs> Captain Caveman. Where on earth is Cameron San Diego? Yes. Those are all things. Animaniacs was just the best. Trek or not, be funny for you and Sam to do a Pinky in the Brain sketch episode. Yes. I don't think he would agree to play uh, Pinky, though. I'm just saying. Channel Sullivan, all those Enterprises behind you and no D. Do you not like the fat ones? Oh, I do like the fat ones. Do I even have a D? I do have a D in here. Not what you're thinking. Shut up. Um, it's actually back here. It's in a drawer, though, so I guess that doesn't really count. I got these. I got double these. I got two of them. So this is one I built like 25 years ago. This was the old, uh, it was AMT. It was the set of three of them, all 2,500 scale. So I got that one. And I got this one. This is the glue metal one. I think it's Galoob. Is it Galoob? Made in China. This is the saucer separation one. See? Saucer separation. Cobra head. Actually, that's, those are pretty cool. And then just snaps back together, like so. 
beautiful. Beautiful, darling. Yeah. So, yeah, I got these in here. I love you, Julius, five dollars. I thought we were friends, and here I bought us friendship bracelets. Oh well. Just lay down. There you go. Dot, lay down. Okay, fleet paw. If you do get a Fleet Paul doll, Olivia, make sure to stick a pin right through, right in the center of the small of the back. It might make it stop hurting. Shauna Sullivan, Doctor Who is great, although you can skip a lot of Capaldi and all of the Whitaker era. I wouldn't skip Capaldi. I like, I like Capaldi. So, suck it. <coughs> Totally bonkers. That's a cartoon. Uh, Pygmy Seymour. So, saw Barbie movie and the new Doctor Who is a Ken in it. Uh, kind of like burst the new Doctor bubble as when an actor becomes a doctor. It's like that's who the actor is now. Like when someone becomes Bond. James Bond. 007. Barbie Doctor Who crossover. General Grievous likes the fat ones. Oh my. Sean O'Sullivan, do you ever think about when old Trek stuff comes to the market, it probably means the owner, the old owner died. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially when you get an influx into like a antique small or some someplace like that. Yeah, it's absolutely what it is. It was an estate sale. Somebody bought the collection. One day, all this shit will be for sale, and you can all buy it. I'll make sure that I put my DNA all over it, so even after I'm dead, you'll all have a little piece of me, if you should you buy it anyway. And when you do, then if you ever are smart enough, or have kids that are smart enough, to clone people, you'll have my DNA, and you can, you know, bring the captain back. That'll be your life, life's work, to uh, make sure that the world is never without Captain Foley. Olivia May Julius, all your models have saucer separation. Some just can't reattach. You're not wrong. Zachary Gibbons, see, I want to know which Starship Enterprise has the most junk in the trunk, not just the fat lady. Bollum says, or downsizing their living space, Sean. That's another one. They've had it long enough. They're getting to the age where they want to enjoy their life, sell some things off, go traveling. They Or they get a new wife who's like, you can't have that stuff in the house. You gotta get rid of that stuff. Or store it in the, in the shed or in the garage. He's like, oh, I might as well just sell the shit. So, lots of reasons. Sean O'Sullivan, Enterprise D just feels like a warm bath of early 90s carpeted workspace. It's a good description. Urs is here. Feed me see more. The ultimate chair for you for your TV screen would be an Enterprise D pilot desk. Data's desk. That's called an ops console or an ops station. But yes, you're not wrong. There is a, 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 oh. Or do you mean like his desk in his quarters? That's a totally different thing. I do love the Enterprise thing behind him, by the way. It's a nice touch. Uh, Eris says, I prefer the Slender ones, the TOS Enterprise. Trekker Nuts says, pull a Sheldon. Now, what does that mean exactly? That could mean a lot of different things. What are you specifically referring to? Feed me Seymour. Matt Smith was the best. David Tennant was overrated. 
I agree with those two things. Wasn't enough uh, Eccleston, but the one season he was good. I agree. Capaldi roughly a uh, rough start, but his second and third season was better. Whitaker just felt bad. I would agree with all of that. Shauna Sullivan, I would think in about 10 years we can make an AI model of you based on the thousands of hours of footage. You're not wrong. I'm surprised somebody that hasn't done an AI voice of Captain Foley. That'd be kind of cool. But yes, absolutely. There is so much footage. So much of my personality online. Anybody could imitate me. Oh my god. They're going to use me for scams. Hello. This is Captain Foley calling. I need $600. Um, I'm, trust me, I'm Captain Foley. That's, that's a terrifying thought. <sighs> uh, Olivia Julius, has anyone told you the video is coming in clear? Sound is great, and you're not coughing. Great job setting up the stream. See? Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's crystal clear. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Because I put a lot of effort into this one. And I, I went all out, you know. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Shay Locomotive Reproduction, Sergeant Slaughter. Yo, Joe. Feed me Seymour, classic Doctor Who. That was the best. Peter Davidson, Tom Baker, and Sylvester McCoy. The rest was average. Er says, you know that clone captain will never be the original captain. The life experience will never be the same. Only he might sound like you, might look like you, but will never be you. Oh, you guys care. Or do you? I don't even know. Uh, oh, Eric Martin is here. Fleepa, Fleepa, your best friend Eric Martin has arrived. <sighs> Genevieve was disagree. Matt Smith was very meh until after, until towards the end of his run. Also, his chin structure looks like it came from a British Alabama. Oof. That's really fucking mean. Wow. Um, no, Matt Smith is my favorite. I would say my favorite Doctor Who. Yeah. He's the one that I uh, started watching. He's my first Doctor. And then I went back and watched Eccleston and then totally skipped Tennant because... Yeah, Tennis is fucking overrated. He's so vain, he had to re use a regeneration to bring himself back. What an arrogant prick. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, I like Capaldi also, so. Those are facts. Bridge desk with the TV controls as the panel. Gotcha. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It was. It's a dreadnought. That was the Federation class. Refit. Trek or not, cloning a Foley, a.k.a. Sheldon, cloning Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> you can have your own Foley. Oh, I'm drab. I could see being Enterprise D crew and like redecorating re in Naked Times, in Naked Time episodes. We can replicate anything. Why is this damn plate in every room? Smash. Sean O'Sullivan, it will be like the episode of Voyager Veritas, I think, where the EMH tries to leave Voyager to become an opera singer. Zachary Gibbons, yeah, Ops is what Data Station was, which is why I didn't make sense for him to pilot the Enterprise from the Ops Station in Picard, but because of plot, it changed. Yeah. I mean... The controls are transferable if need be in an emergency. You can pull any control to any console. It's how the ship works. So if the helm station is damaged beyond repair in a battle, you can just swipe it over to the other side and use it, or you can fly from back of the ship. It's, it's, that's what the panels, the consoles are designed for. There may not be as much speciality in what you can do specifically, but general function is able to be transferred like that, so that's fine. <clears throat> Feed Me Seymour says, AI Foley, I'm calling for sponsorship from Crown Royale. 
it's not it's not royal it's royal crown royal yes the peach one uh fleet pa if you really are captain foley what have i told you in a chat that you have never read on screen Whew. that's it that's a loaded question because there's been a lot of stuff and uh considering who's in the chat i might not want to say i can say that you do via messenger get some of captain foley's personal stash i think you know what that means and i think that proves i am who i say i am Check or not, honest question. Do you think if you ever stop producing YouTube videos in the future, say the tech evolves, would you delete all your content or leave it up? Oh, I'd leave it all up. I'd leave that all up. It's a lot of hard work and, and fun. And every now and then it's fun to go back and watch something I did and be like, oof, ew, how would I change that? Or that was really good. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, I would, I would leave it all up. It's just the way it is. Zachary Gibbons, at least put in a line transferring helm cons control to ops. Yes, I think Sam and I said that at the time. Trek or not, Matt Smith is kind of rocky and a creepy look lately. Yep. Sean O'Sullivan, Tenant got to play three doctors. Ten meta doctor. Ten meta doctor and fourteen. Hikaru Sulu has arrived. So, when are we doing the pop culture live? By your command. I don't know. Maybe later this week. Maybe we'll pick a day. I don't know. I keep forgetting about it. It's what happens. <clears throat> Terrence Childs, have you seen the new Ghostbusters movie that came out yet uh, Thursday? No. Somebody asked me that earlier. I haven't seen it yet. So, I apologize. I'm not on. I'm not on the ball. Maybe Silly and I will go see it this Saturday or something. Don't know. Feed me Seymour. So I haven't researched what happened to Eagle Moss, but what's the major place for Mini Federation ship models? Master Replicas. They bought all of their old stock and everything, and they've been selling Eagle Moss ships for a long time now. So they are the new Eagle Moss, essentially. So. <clears throat> Eric Martin, I didn't hear goose things about the new ghostbusters i think he means good and i have heard good things i've also heard sort of eh things and i really don't give a shit i'm still gonna enjoy it i heard meh things about the last one and i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna go watch it still uh i don't give a shit what other people think i'll go watch it for myself and if i don't like it then i don't like it tough titty so yeah Oh, look, we're back here. Should I end the live stream when we get to the self-destruct? It's coming up. We'll see. I'm probably not going to do that again. Feed me Seymour. Matt Smith was the only good thing in the Morbius, in the Mobius movie. And Terrence Child says, really? Really what? That I haven't seen the movie? Yes, really. Uh, Briscoe Rob says, Captain, show us your bucket. Which one? Are you referring to the sandworm bucket? Because I don't have that. Haven't seen Dune 2 yet. I also don't have the Slimer bucket or the uh, Ghost Trap bucket. What bucket are you referring to, sir? I might have a bucket of some kind around here. I don't know. Let's see. Um... Oh, oh, I could use this as a bucket, I guess. It's my Darth Vader bucket. Turn it upside down. Fill that full of popcorn. You just... Mm -hmm. 
I'm Dark Helmet, everybody. Isn't he lovely? Not really. That's really weighted funny, and that didn't work like I wanted it to. Just for the record. I'm just gonna leave that down there. Almost hit the dog with it. That would have been a travesty. Let's see. Trek or not, probably an optimal layout for consoles, but then they can be transferred like we see in transferring control to engineering many times. Exactly. Plus, they're not physical buttons. It's just like a touch screen. So, of course, you can swap things out. Zachary Gibbons. No, Captain Foley has not seen the new Ghostbusters movie. We will wait. Have to wait for his review, sadly. It's true. Uh, Philippa. Yes, your personal stash of kittens and puppy videos are awesome. Yes. You're 100% correct with that. Clever. Clever. <clears throat> Feed me Seymour, Captain Foley, AI, safe, safe word, kapla. Ghostbusters should do more global and have a Canadian team and a British thing. Oh, can you imagine Canadian Ghostbusters? That'd be awesome. I'd be down. Zachary Gibbons, zero, 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 destruct, zero. Errors, if you do not like it, you let us know. I will, obviously. Shay says, get out, get out of there. Briska Rob huh, was implying that you're a that you're a change link many. Huh, was implying that you're a change link meant a change link maybe. Uh, Eric Martin, Luke, help us take this bucket off so I can eat popcorn with my old mouth. Uh. Exe Trek Jedi. Wow, it's dark helmet. Hey, Locomotive Productions, how many assholes we got on this ship? Zachary Gibbons. Uh, back to the future. Silence, Earthling. My name is Darth Vader. I am an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. Zero. 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 Destruct. Zero. Ten. Nine. Darn it, I forgot something. I will be back. You fool, come back. He's a goner. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Computer, cancel self-destruct. Computer, bite me. You're not the captain. Three, two, one. Sucker. <laughs> General Grievous. Kittens. Exactly. There's another word for cats. That's... Um, it, uh, feed me Seymour was thinking by Star Trek Legacy was thinking by Star Trek Legacy shouldn't be a TV series but would be good to become a new era of Star Trek movies prime like you have the TOS movies next gen movies and the legacy movies would the, and the legacy movies would be what yes whatever you whatever you said I agree with you Trek or not are there any Canadian shows like NCIS, etc.? I know there's Due South, etc., but not the same. Well, what would you recommend? 100%. 100% I recommend to you, sir, Murdoch Mysteries. Check out Murdoch Mysteries. It's phenomenal. Filmed in Toronto, takes place in 18, uh, like early 1800s, Toronto. It's fantastic. Or Forever Night, about a vampire cop that's 700 years old who is a police detective in Toronto. It is fantastic also. 
Prisco Rub. I demand a DNA test. Okay, come close to the camera. Okay. There you go. General Grievous. Let's not talk about what people are saying about the Dune 2 popcorn bucket. Leepa, he's either a changeling or an evil rogue AI. We must airlock him. He doesn't send me kitten and puppy videos. He sends me venomous snakes feeding videos. Uh, I don't, it's not venomous. I mean, they do spit, I guess. Fleet pot. You set me up here, man. Uh, feed me Seymour. I often wonder how good it would have been in the 90s to have a Star Trek movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Such a missed opportunity. Get to the shadow. Vulcans bleed green. We can kill it. General Grievous couldn't cancel the auto-destruct. It was behind a Ferengi paywall. Uh, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, that's funny. I like it, I like it. You're welcome here, sir. Watch some of your drunk yards and you mentioned you are going to Tilt Arcade on your 50th. Do you have many people going, thinking of going as well? It will be fun. Um, right now, I think 17 people are confirmed going. And like 54 are interested. Uh, I think a lot of people will show up. But you're more than welcome to come. Just let me know who the hell you are. Because you guys know me. You see my face. You hear my voice. You hear me talking to you all the time. I see your YouTube name. And uh, so it's weird to meet you guys out in public. You're like You feel like you know me. Because you've been hanging out with me for so long. And I kind of know you. <laughs> but not really. And it's like, I'm so-and-so from YouTube. And it's like, oh my god, it's great to meet you. And I can actually put a face to the name. Zachary Gibbons, I want Star Trek Legacy. Whether Paramount will... I want Star Trek Legacy. Whether Paramount will do it? Never say never. Not errors. I haven't sent you any videos or pics. Don't even know if you're on Facebook or not. LOL. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about that other guy. Yeah. Mark Lawrence, if my camp out gets canceled, I will fly out there. See, Mark is a goddamn superstar. He'd fly out here from LA. He lives near LA. He doesn't live in it. Anyway, regardless, he'd fly out here from South or from California and hang out with me for my birthday. Just so you guys know, it's from 12 p.m. until 2. Uh, you're welcome to stay afterwards because when you come in for the party, they actually officially open at two o'clock. So when the party's over, that's when they open to the public. So, but you're you're already in there, so you still have access to all the games and stuff. But some people, select people, will be coming back to my place for a barbecue and a hangout. So, Mark, if you do fly down, you'll be able to come over and uh, be in the ready room. Awesome. Feed me Seymour. If I turn up, should I turn up Rick Moranis or is Audrey too? I mean, whichever. Uh, Hleepa. I would also recommend Ozone Layer. It's a docu-series about how Trudeau's hair care regime is actually destroying through Ozone Layer over the GTA. Sarcasm. General Grievous, when we meet, I should show up with a General Grievous mask on. Yes, yes, you should. And I'll be like, oh, it's you. Hello there. Shay says, Captain, do they have laser tag on at that tilt? We have some of the ours. Uh, no, it's just wall to wall arcade games and pinball games and some sit down tables with like screens in them. And there's a bunch of cool shit. There's no laser tag at this one, though. Uh, so, no. There's space, the final frontier. This is the voyage of the USS Foley on its 50-year mission. 
Yes, many adventures have been had. Yes, Sirius, absolutely. 50th mission year. Uh, feed me, Seymour. Your 50th, my 40th this year in two days. Well, congrats. Happy birthday. Feed me, Seymour. Yeah, my 50th is May 28th. So I'm going to be 50. I'm an old goddamn man. Half a century, don't you know? But hey, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. Mark Lawrence says, definitely, and a birthday super chat. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Zachary Gibbons, make a toga party at your house, like Animal House. Toga, toga, toga. Optimist Prime, sweet. I'm only in Cambridge, so I will definitely go if all goes well here. You're more than welcome. May 25th, 12 p.m. Feed me Seymour. Not long till Star Trek Discovery. Yay. Um, Errors. And after that, we need to bowl. Need a bowl of Star Trek Recovery. That's funny. That's actually legit funny. Are you okay, little dog? Are you dying? Feed me Seymour. Star Trek laser tag. Borg invasion theme. Just another reason we need a theme park. Hell yes. Shay Locomotive Productions would love to come to the party, but I don't have a passport. That's sad, man. I don't expect everybody to be able to come, but if you, if you can, that's cool. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just go from there. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> Briscoe Rob, I would really like to hear your thoughts on the Acolyte sometime. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was underwhelmed with the trailer. Um, I love Star Wars. I, I, I've enjoyed a lot, of, almost everything Disney's done, honestly. Uh, I thought Ahsoka was good. I thought uh, Book of Boba Fett, I enjoyed that. I actually really enjoyed that. Obi-Wan, yeah, it was good. And, uh, of course, Mandalorian's phenomenal, top top shelf stuff. Um, so, I saw the Acolyte trailer, and I'm like, this feels like the fucking Matrix. It's even got Carrie Ann Moss in it. 100 years before the prequels, it's like, mm, the trailer didn't do anything for me. Um, hopefully the show is better than the trailer. Couldn't be worse, I guess. But, yeah. So, yeah. I, I'll probably be doing live first reactions after every episode. So you can check it out and find out my thoughts on it. Feed me Seymour. Star Trek Recovery is the name of my Star Trek online fleet. Nice. Zachary Gibbons, 50 years down and 50 more to go, we hope. I hope so, too. I'll try to stick around for you guys. I don't look 50, do I? Skin tone's not too bad. Not too many wrinkles. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people think I'm, like, 40 at the most. So, must be doing something right. Check it out. You should do a Foley. This is your life episode. Hello with Cockings acting as the presenter. Yeah. There's Lola. There's no room to move. Just go lay down over there. You're gonna step over your sister and right on her face with your back paw. Awesome. Good. You're such a good sister. Hugs are great. General Grievous, I can set you up with a passport, Shay. I know a guy, just ignore the totally not suspect stains on it. Zachary Gibbons, your trailer for Acolyte. Yeah, trailer for Acolyte didn't get me excited. We will see. Yeah, I'm right there with you. 
Hey, guys, can you, like, move down a bit? There's not enough room here, and she's an idiot. You need me to move this? There you go. Now you got more room. Feed me Seymour. I felt that Soko it was fan service to the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels cartoon, because it was more a sequel to that than its own thing. Still cool. Who gives a shit? It was still good Star Wars. I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I didn't even watch all of Clone Wars or Rebels. I watched a YouTube video. It's like how to get caught up for Ahsoka in like 35 minutes. All the key points from Clone Wars and Rebels. I don't need to watch everything that came before to really enjoy what the new show offers. When I go back and watch those Clone Wars and Rebels, I'll go, like, hey, that makes Ahsoka so much better. I'm not one of these people... Unfortunately, like Sam, I haven't watched all the Clone Wars or Rebels, so I'm not going to watch Ahsoka. Until he's watched it all. It's like, oh, okay, well, you're really, really missing out, my dude. But, okay, you do you. Whatever you got to do. <clears throat> Urs says, the USS Discovery... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. We're not done there yet. Uh, but, but, but she like Motor Productions, but I hope to see you again at Wonderfest. I'll be there. Feed me Seymour. She is Trek Yards. She is Trek Yards next anniversary. Are you asking when it is? It's in October. Fleet Pa. I liked the Accolade trailer, but I'm also not a heavy Star Wars fan, so it, so if it looks cool, I'm down for it. Urs says the USS Discovery enters wormhole and comes out and appears in front of the Death Star. Fire on that strange ship. And that is how Discovery ended. Or how it should have ended. Hello. Well. Feed me Seymour. Foley, you look like my slightly older brother. Now I'm two days from 40 and people say I look like I'm in my 30s. So that makes uh, you mid-30s. Oh, thank you. Trek or not, they are making the same mistake as Discovery with the Acolyd, the creator. Uh, Leslie Headland is known for the, for the play and 2012 film Bachelorette and 2015 film Sleeping with Other People. No feckin' sci-fi. It's always a problem. Zachary Gibbons, gotta go. I'll have a good night. See you later, Zachary. Thanks for joining us. We miss you already. Paul Hitchcock, I thought the Acolyte trailer was pretty mid. Not bad, but pretty much what you'd expect from a Star Wars trailer to be. It kind of felt like a Star Wars video game trailer. That summed it up perfectly. Yes. Yes, you're 100% correct. I need to have a shot of vodka just because my mouth is dry and weird. Oh my god. Almost overflowed. I need to kill the bacteria in my mouth with alcohol. This is the way. <laughs> I don't want to spill it. Cheers. Look, see? Ooh. It's a good sipping vodka, actually. It's raspberry lemonade. Thanks, Derek Martin. And it's really good to just... <coughs> it is really... <coughs> As I die, it is really good to sip. That one just caught me the wrong way. Ah, refreshing. Satisfying. Lovely? I don't know. Anyway, cheers. <sighs> Optimist Prime. Is the Commander Hawkins coming, or is he on a long-range mission? Uh, 
for my birthday? Oh no, he won't be coming to that. Feed me Seymour. Shame Obi-Wan won't get a second season. It is kind of a shame, yes. Trek or not, nepotism trumps genre, experience, and talent, I guess. Oh, nepotism trumps genre, experience, and talent, I guess. Yes. Uh, Fleet Paw. Shay, uh, depending on where you live, you may be able to use your enhanced driver's license to cross the border. Your state has to offer one, and it's land, water, crossings only. Who's in West Virginia? West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. There's a place. Need a Stargate revival and a Firefly revival. Yes. And yes. Trek or not, I think a Sliders remake is ripe for the picking. 100% yes. Hleepa, shoot. You'll need a passport then. You could try for a passport card. It's supposed to be cheaper and good for land water crossings as well. Look at Fleet Paw. Fleet Paw. Fleet Paw. Feet Paw. I'm going to call you Feet Paw from now on. Anyway, look at him trying to help you out, Shay. That's awesome. Down the hatch. <laughs> Feed me Seymour. In one shot of the second episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 1, does the Discovery or Glenn appear at the Battle of the Klingons? Um, did somebody make a mistake and put the Glenn? If so, we didn't notice it. I don't know. General Grievous, I have a few issues. Acolyte trailer looked like a Kung Fu parody. Check. Also, it's going the Kurtzman way with the cannon. Check. In the Fa Phantom Menace, when Maul showed up, the council were shocked. It had been 1,000 years. Well, they might explain that in the accolade, though. Like, yes, there was a Sith thing going on, but it, it maybe gets covered up for whatever reason. 1,000 years since the Sith showed up. This is 100 years before Phantom Menace, unless every Jedi in the trailer dies. Canon is broken. Mwah, mwah. Feed me Seymour. Just in one scene, you see the Shenzu with Giorgio standing off against Klingons, then Federation ship appear, ship on left for one scene, looks like a cross field, but only if that one scene was not. Only in that one scene and not mentioned. Wondered if it was a mistake or if anyone else saw that. We picked those scenes apart and I don't remember that. Could be that we found it and said that's weird and then moved on. I, I don't know. You have to go back and watch our, our commentary from that time because um, I haven't really gone back to rewatch Discovery. So. <clears throat> Which maybe I should. I don't know. Should I rewatch it all? Oh my god. Our shields aren't working. It's a disaster. Feed paw. Feet paw says, I sing that song every time I go through West Virginia, or at least the chorus anyway. Sounds like a brand, brand of chicken feed, lol, or cat food. Salty cyborg noises. Feed me see more. Trouble is Gagarin and Crossfield kind of look like this, like look the same from certain angles, and they could explain that it that way. Yeah, you're not wrong. For for once, which is fucking surprising, but uh, yeah, you're not wrong. So, 
fleet paw. I mean, feed paw. Um, feet paw. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get um, Salty Trekker down for Wonderfest. Last year he was really tempted to come, but I didn't give him enough notice. I only gave him like a week and a half. Even though I was talking about it long before that, he just never fucking pays attention or watches any of my content, which is fine. Um, so I've messaged him and given him a... It's in June, so he's got a lot of time to figure it out. Self-destruct. Don't worry, I won't end the stream when that goes off this time. Um, so maybe we'll get to meet Salty Trekker in person. He's a good guy. He really is. Um, so yeah, looking forward to meeting him. Don't know if he'll come, but I'll... I wanted to let you know, because I know you've watched him, and general viewers just put salty cyborg nurses, so. Mark Lawrence, I got my passport card along with my passport. It was only about $10 or $20 extra. I keep it in my wallet, since you never know when a trip to Canada or Mexico comes up last second. Look at this guy. You're awesome, Mark. Give me Seymour. Rewatch Discovery Seasons 3 and 4. That's all you need to prepare for the new season. I don't do that, though. I don't just watch the last... I need to watch it all. Just a thing. Track or not, I said I miss Foley Party. Well, then get your fucking ass over here. You got till May. I'm sure you can figure something out. Jesus Christ. Stop being a baby. Stop whining. And just be a man and come to the party. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Funny, Fleet Pie didn't even notice anything. Normally he does. Feed me Seymour. Me not wrong. I've gained too much power. Need to say something to bring back the status quo. Basil Rathbone. Not a great Sherlock Holmes. So, for many different reasons. I mean, he started out okay. You're gonna get me started on this, aren't you? Nigel Bruce was a bumbling idiot for Watson, just saying. Basil Rathbone was good in the role at first, and for audio dramas, I think he's really good. He definitely has a look on screen, but after a while, he he agreed with Carthur Conan Doyle. He's like, you know, um, <clears throat> I have the same problem Arthur Conan Doyle had. I can't be rid of the man, because he got very, very tight cast as Holmes, so... Discovery Season 1, Episode 2 Review. There it is. Look at that link. Fleet Paw is the man. Oh, and Urz says goodnight, Cap. Good night, Urz. General Grievous, according to Rob Meyer Burnett, if you're looking for a major course correct in Season 5, you'll be disappointed. Yeah, I didn't expect one, so. Risco Rob, I was able to see modern MRIs today. Techni technically is getting better. Feed me Seymour. Battle Beetlejuice 2 trailer. I actually feel I need to see this. The trailer was kind of shit, though, wasn't it? It was more like a teaser trailer. What the fuck is this horse shit? Fucking, who the fuck are you and why are you on my screen? I hate when this shit does this. Like, fuck you two. Get your shit together. It happens all the fucking time, too. Do I hear rain? No, I do not hear rain. I don't know what the fuck that was. Mother. Yeah, it felt more like a trailer. I was, I'm not the biggest fan of the first Beetlejuice either. I don't know. I'll definitely see it. Uh, Sylvia's... What the fucking cunt? Just, just, just wow. All right, so, yeah, repeat, yeah, yeah, do the things, do the things. There we go. Anyway, Sylvia's a big Beetlejuice fan, so we'll check it out for sure. Fleet Paw, I should at least get my passport card. Pro probably should get a full passport. I'm just ignoring it, yours. Just ignoring you, your ears. Your ears. Feed me Seymour, although Michael uh, Keaton said about one line, the juice is loose, but he doesn't, he hasn't lost the Beetlejuice voice. No, he 
hasn't. Keaton's kind of awesome, isn't he? I'm just saying. Uh, General Grievous, Spazzle Rathbone was good as Sir Guy of Gisborne in Robin Hood. <laughs> yep. Uh, Feed Me Seymour. If I was Michael Keaton, every Halloween I would have dressed up as Beetlejuice. I mean, uh, Beetlejuice. I mean, you would just have to. Self-destruct on YouTube. Shay Lookmore Productions. Captain, would you like a gift certificate for a steam train excursion in the U.S. for your birthday? Depends where, and as long as there's no expiry date on it so I can plan the trip accordingly and not have to fucking rush down there. But uh, that might be interesting. But it depends on where. If it's West Virginia, I don't know. Because I don't know when I'll be down in West Virginia area. But uh, I'll take cash. These dogs, I tell you. They're freaking weird. Snow piercer. West Virginia and no expiration date. Was it for two people? Because if I go down to West Virginia, I'd be taking Sylvia with me. So maybe. I'll say maybe. It's a gift. I mean, if you want to give it to me, that's cool. I'm not asking. Stop, Siri. Yeah, I'm not sure you understand either. Um, you can give me whatever you want. Um, I just don't know when I'll be able to use it to get down there. So, just saying. West Virginia is definitely some beautiful country. Blue Ridge Mountains included. Shenandoah River. Chase says. It can be for two, and we could meet up as well. Of course I'd meet you when I'm down there. That's the whole point, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's up to you. If you want to give me that, that'd be awesome. Just keep in mind, my birthday's May 28th. I leave for Wonderfest on May 30th. So that's the weekend right after my birthday. So anybody going to Wonderfest, if you can't make it to my birthday thing on the 25th, bring me a gift. I'm just saying. I'm 50. It's a big, momentous anniversary, birthday, celebration thing. So, gifts are welcome. Awesome gifts. I'm just saying. I know you'll be at Wonderfest. I know you will. All the country roads take us home. <laughs> Uh, Trek train shuttle again. Another reason we need a Trek theme park. Yes. Absolutely. Laser tag Borg invasion and laser tag Dominion dominance. Red shirt alley. It's like a firing range. That's just the targets are all red shirts. Or Gorn, or Khan, or the guy from Conspiracy that gets his head exploded. That'd be cool. Just call it Red Shirt Alley. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll work on getting the millions and millions of dollars. You guys, I'll hire you all when that happens. In West Virginia, country roads always take me home. General Grievous, laser tag with Borg almost haunted house style. Yeah. Country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, country roads, take me home. My last part is it's not the thing. But. I like that song. You must get sick of hearing that, Raymond Anders. I mean, Shay Locomotive Productions. My brain, she fried. Uh, feed me Seymour. And I'd have the waiting room be like 
you're stood ready by the holodeck with a laser tag. Well, yeah, that's uh, kind of the point. And the hallway walking in would all be just a holodeck grid. <sighs> yeah, yeah, buddy. And you need the sound effects at the start of the match, the door closing. <laughs> And then the sh shimmer as it disappears. So much potential. But CBS and Paramount would be like, we don't want you to do that because that's our thing. <laughs> Fucking morons. I don't know a cash cow when they see one. I gotta milk that thing. They left so much, they leave so much money on the table. Uh, it's fucking maddening. Maddening, I say. And then randomly during the laser tag, Borg invasion, because it's in the holodeck, you have Data as Sherlock and Captain Picard on board the, the pinafore. Shay says, nope, Never Country Roads is our new West Virginia State song, and I love it. Feed me Seymour, if you get tagged by a Borg, your laser turns green and you go after your crew. That'd be fucking cool, actually. I like that. I will not complain about that. That's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Starting to get a little fatigued. I'm just saying, I'm old, I'm almost 50. <sighs> and the laser has to be remodulated. Fleet Paw, Shay, probably never gets tired of Take Me Home, Country Road. Just like I never get tired of Yellow Rose of Texas or Empire State, State of Mind. Because they adapted. Slippers. Slippers. Yes. Strippers. Samuel, fetch me my slippers. Who didn't see that? Because I gotta show it again then. Again, I wish I remember who... Who made this, but I don't, so... Samuel, fetch my slippers. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Me. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> Concrete jungle with dream. Concrete jungle. <laughs> Words. I want some Star Trek slippers now. Fleet Paw, LOL, hear it for New York. New York, New York. Trek Yard slippers would be cool. Well, there are Trek Yard socks. I know the Teespring store has Trek Yard socks. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. <sighs> slippers would be kind of cool, I guess. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, a big wall of tire just hit me. Jesus Christ. That was a sound. That was a sound, you see. <clears throat> Shay says, to get an idea of what you will see, Captain, look up Cass... Scenic Railroad State Park when you get a chance. I think I have looked that up. I think you've told me that before. Um, but I will check it out, yes. Uh, Pew Me Seymour, you know what goes well with Trek Yard socks? Trek Yard slippers. And Trek Yard's brand condoms. Always guaranteed to be slick. That's slick. Sleek. 
and slick. Sleek. Ribbed. Like a warp core interchiller grill. Ribbed. I'm just gonna let this one go because it's not good. Melissa, off topic, of course. Of course. Have you ever talked about Maleficent, the original movie? No, I have not. Did see it. It's interesting. Angelina Jolie does interesting. It's, a, it's a, an interesting take. That's all I gotta say. I've never really talked about it. No. I've also only seen it once, so I need to. I would need to go back and rewatch it before I could talk about it. But it's an odd twist to the tale, if you will. Yeah. No, I haven't, Melissa. Thanks for playing. Fleepa, I know Olivia has a pair of Trekyard socks, and I find that concerning. Feed me Seymour, Trekyard's condoms. Make it so and engage. Fleepa, ribbed. So entertaining her warp tunnel is pleasurable for her. Ribbed, like warp coils. We gotta let it go. We can't can't focus on that. I was just a, I don't even know why I mentioned it. Just, I thought sock, and then I thought crusty sock, and that led to condom, and it's just bad. It's bad. <clears throat> you mean wibbed for your nuclear vessels? Wharf condoms for the glory of your pecker. Ridged, ridged for her pleasure. I don't want to hear one. I don't want to hear one fucking joke about two fucking dicks. Or one mention of two dicks. Because Klingons only have one dick. I don't care what Discovery showed us. That guy had a Prince Albert piercing and it wasn't in. He split his dick in some kind of ritualistic... Whatever. They do not have two fucking dicks. Yes, they got a lot of body redundancies. They don't have two penises. It's never been a thing to Discovery. And fuck Discovery for that. And by that logic, their females should have four tits as well. Because redundancies. They don't. So let's just drop that. I know somebody was going to say it. I just thought I'd put it out there. It's a real big pet peeve of mine. Maybe it's penis envy because I don't have two. But I, I don't know. Just they don't. So just don't even, anybody mentions it, they're getting banned. Fleepa, you have your orders. <sighs> anyway. Let it go, let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. It's true. Redundant ridges and two kittens as well. They, no, mm. I mean... I'm just going to shut my mouth before I get in trouble. There's always two, at least. Three. Just saying. <sighs> just keep digging, Stuart. Go, go dig that hole for yourself eventually. Penis envy. So funny. Feed me Seymour. That was retconned by TOS anyway. What was? I dare you to say something about it, Feed me Seymour. What was? Kapla. It's not how you spell Kapla, but thank you for playing. <sighs> Indeed. Indeedly doodly. And doodly doodly. See, I'm tired now. My brain's kind of ground to a halt. I don't think it's locked up yet, but you know. 
Everything in Discovery was retconned by TOS Prime. Melissa says, water. Do I have water? Do you want water? Water. Melissa, you guys have to come down for my birthday. May 25th, Tilt Arcade. Come join us. Just, just saying. Feed me Seymour. See, everyone thinks Discovery retcon to us, but no, it's the other way around. Well, I'm drab. I was honestly never fussed about that detail either way. What detail? I don't even know what you're talking about. Polchcock, the line applying to always seemed like it was just written by Lord Clark. You could have a quip and so to say to Laurel and sounded edgy and salacious. Was there a line about it? I don't think there's a line about it. There's a fucking scene where the guy's in the alley taking a piss and there's two streams. I don't think there's a line about it. Maybe there is. It's just stupid. It's just discovery people just not understanding anything. <clears throat> Hannah Barbera, Godzilla. I just started watching Trek Yards and your guys' channel is amazing. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for coming over here to hang out with me as well. Appreciate it. We will endeavor to do so. We've been doing it for nine and a half years. It's going to be 10 years in October. So a decade of Trek Yard. There's a lot of back content to watch. So I hope you are enjoying it. There's some hits and there's some misses. But just ignore the misses unless it's my misses because Sylvia's awesome. So. Transformatics. Just got the Mega Blocks. Uh, STOS, whatever that is. Day of the Dove and Guardian of Forever sets. Uh, gonna look great with my 132nd Enterprise Bridge mod model. Nice. I've got the uh, Guardian of Forever one up there. Melissa says, I would love it. Surgery tomorrow plus six cats. Crazy cat ladies and 180 pound dog. They might eat each other if I left them alone for two days. Oh, well, that's wow. not good. And good luck on your surgery tomorrow. That's, um, I hope everything goes well. Uh, transformatics. Once I'm finished painting your model of your bridge. Gotcha. Fleet Pa. I had a thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Brace yourself, everybody. What's he thinking? What if... It's two pee holes instead of two members. That would make more sense, honestly. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That's what I said all along. He had a Prince Albert. He's got two holes now. He just doesn't have his piercing in. So two holes, that's I'm perfect. That's, but the stream doesn't make sense in that regard. Unless, unless, and you guys know about this, every man knows if you don't go pee after sex in the morning, you get a funky, weird stream. Sometimes split in two. So. I'm more at peace with that answer, Fleet Claw. Just pump the thing. All right, this is just pissing me off now. So we're going to end that one. No, no, what is I said pause, yes, stupid fucking thing. And go back to TNG era. Boom, baby. There we go. TNG for you guys. Had enough movie era. Feed me Seymour. I like the USS Franklin from beyond. Just wondered what that era of Trek was like. Which is what? Post Star Trek Enterprise pre-Kelvin? Yes. That's exactly what it is. What's it like? Not as good as what's good. 
Paul says the Lorca makes a comment in choice of choose your pain. At least I think he does. Again, seem to be edge for the sake of edge. Very Frank Miller comic peeps will know what I mean by this comment. I know what you mean by that comment. I don't seem to recall a line about it. I just remember that it was a thing and a visual, but. Uh, feed me Seymour, don't cross the streams. Right? Daniel's Hot Topics. Ten days. We got ten days left to Star Trek Discovery Season 5. I can see you're excited. Please join us for our coverage of the final season of Discovery Season 5. By the way, thank you for mentioning that, Daniel. My episode first reaction lives, which are late at night like this, 10, sorry, what, 10 p.m. They're probably going to be on the Trek Yards channel. They might not be on this channel. So just keep an eye out on both if you want to get those, because I think I'm going to keep those on the Trek Yards channel. I'm not 100% sure yet, though. It doesn't really matter, honestly, but holy, seriously. The, the, dr the, dr the drama, the dramaticness of being a pug. Are you all right? Will you live? Will you live to snore another day? Holy crap. And then that one does it. You guys are awesome. Pugs are great. If you don't like pugs, I don't know what to tell you. Get the hell out of here because pugs are fantastic creatures. Have you watched any Hanna-Barbera shows? And if so, what is your favorite show? I bet you can guess mine. Uh, Hanna-Barbera Godzilla. Um, well, yeah, there's a shit ton of Hanna-Barbera I used to watch when I was a kid. I grew, I was born in 74, so I grew up with like all the, you know, Captain Caveman and all that shit. So there's a lot of Hanna-Barbera. What's my favorite though? Uh... Are the Flintstones Hanna-Barbera? I think they are. Shoot me some titles. Josie and the Pussycats. Scooby-Doo. 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 Uh... I don't know what my favorite would be, though. Paul Hitchcock. Oh, filming wrapping up on Section 31. Film, filming wrapped up on Section 31 last week. Really? Already? Holy shit. Amazing. Feed me Seymour. The minute your pee goes in two directions, the panic of hoping it stays in the bowl. Indeed. Indeed. The Scottish Nightmare. Good WWE Raw tonight. The Rock is just brutal. Nice. Captain Caveman, Hong Kong Fui. We were talking about him earlier. Paul Hitchcock, live, live to snore another day, would be a great title for a generic, a geriatric Bond movie. Yes, Flintstones, yes. Top Cat, the 90s was the golden age of kids' game shows on Nickelodeon. Jetsons, Speed Buggy, Flintstones, or Hanna-Barbera, Scooby-Doo, Flintstones, Wacky Races, Herculoids, Catch the Pigeon, Birdman, Super Friends, Johnny Quest. Uh, Super Friends was all right. Scooby-Doo was good. Um, Jetsons was enjoyable. Flintstones was awesome. Um, Johnny Quest was good. I like Johnny Quest as well. And Daniel, hot topic, says it's a cling knot. It's a cling off, not a cling on. Are you okay? Yeah, I know. Well, we're coming up on the two-hour mark, which means we're going to be done soon. Yeah. I know. You're okay. You're cute. You're cute. He's a cute little pug. Magnolia, Magnolia Gorilla. Heathcliff, yeah, Heathcliff. Uh, Inch High Private Eye. Don't know if I've heard of that one. Delvin. 
Have I ever done um, a adamant? Don't know if I know adamant. Up and Adam, Adamant. Oh, that's what the Up and Adam is from. Okay. Gee, I love the Flintstones, Jetsons, and the Super Friends equally. Yogi Bear. Hey, hey, boo boo. We're going to get us a picnic basket. Basket. Yeah, I used to watch all this shit when I was younger. Um. I know. All right, relax. Lay down. We're not quite finished here yet. Heck, I even love the original animated series of Star Trek. Well, yes, but that's filmation. Uh, Danish Hot Topics. That was an Enterprise Season 1 reference in Episode 1 when the officers said it's a Klingot, Klingot and then the Vulcan corrected him. Ratner sternly and said a Klingon. Janna of the jungle. When he was just Cadet Foley. Wild hair bunch. Uh, speaking of, I am loving the Master Replicas XL Enterprise D model, despite some inaccuracies that I don't mind by a long shot. Huckleberry Hound, yes. Huckleberry Hound was great. Um... I don't know if I have a favorite Hanna-Barbera. Uh, never heard of Hanna-Barbera Godzilla, though. I'm just saying. Maybe I'm dumb. I mean, I wouldn't put it past me. So, look, they're, they're downloading all of our Federation database. Oh, no, we must stop them. Snorks, Smurfs. Oh, the Smurfs. I watched the, the hell out of the Smurfs. I was a big fan of the Smurfs when I was a kid. Had a bunch of the little Smurf figures from, uh, got them at Canada's Wonderland, I believe. Yeah, I like the Smurfs. Snorks? Mm, never really got into. Daniel's Hot Topic. Scooby Doo is my favorite Hanna Barbera animated series. Scooby Doo, where are you? to be specific for me. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Yeah. Godzilla was 1978 to 1979 for Hanna-Barbera. Nice. General Grievous, jokes on them. They're downloading Captain Foley's secret kitten database. Hope not. Trust Transform Formiax. Wacky Races was my favorite because it brought the classics all together. Yeah, the Wacky Races were kind of silly and wacky. Wow. But yeah. I'll have to check with my buddy, uh, Michael. He's a huge Godzilla fan. Um, spent some time living over in Japan as well. He's got, uh, he's got Gojira on the brain, if you know what I'm saying. I have to ask him if he knows about that cartoon. I've never heard of the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla cartoon. And he talks about Godzilla fucking constantly. So I'm he might have mentioned I just tuned him out after a while. He probably mentioned it, actually. But I'll, I'll run it by him and see what he says. You should watch Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. It's like a smorgasbord of classic Hanna-Barbera cartoons being represented in court. I've seen, I've seen Birdman. Perils of Penelope Pitstop. That's... I've heard of that one. Daniel says, yeah, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You is the best. Way better than that crappy What's New Scooby-Doo from like 2023. Yes, you're not wrong. Phoebe Seymour says, I remember the Godzilla cartoon. Congratulations. What do you want, a medal or a chest to pin it on? I'm just kidding. I'll have to look into it. I'll have to ask uh, my buddy Mike what he says. <clears throat> He's got a lot of strong Godzilla opinions. I'm just saying. So. You don't look comfortable, Pug. And we're coming up on our two-hour mark. Also a King, King version, but it was... Big Giant Ape. 
Pre-Pow, I remember seeing the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla cartoon. It was cool. They called Godzilla with a little bear. They pressed a button on it, and he came to help them. Space Ghost. Yes, Space Ghost is good. Any who's. Gotta admit, I'm aware of a lot of these titles. I remember seeing some of them. Some I watched more than others with my brothers. But I was never really into a lot of these cartoons. So you're, you're out of my ballpark, unfortunately. It's when the 80s came around that I was more into like the G.I. Joe and Transformers and Thundercats and all that shit. So Hanna-Barbera, yeah, I was always there in the, in the periphery of my viewing experience, but I think we focused on them. Like I said, I was born in 74. So a lot of that stuff was late seventies. I was really young. I remember bits and pieces of it. And of course I know who the main characters and stuff are, but yeah, besides Scooby-Doo and Flintstones and stuff like that, I never really got into it. Intro. Up from the depths, 30 stories high, breathing fire, his head in the sky, Godzilla. The Godzilla cartoon of 1998 took ideas from the Godzilla sequel that had never been greenlit, and they did, a, they did write a script for it. They used it for the animated series. Well, we all know that's not Godzilla. Dana says, oh, Captain Foley, do you go to Wendy's? Today they started selling a white chocolate frosty for spring. Ooh, I do go to Wendy's. Sylvia would probably really like that white chocolate frosty. I'll have to tell her about it. Feed Me Seymour, Cartoon Network in the late 80s and early 90s in the UK has reruns of Hannah Barbera. Yeah. There's also a... What the fuck is the name of the show? Hanna-Barbera Man, you probably know. There was one with like this family of blobs. The Papa Bears. Clickety-click, Bobber Trick, where they transform into shit. I remember that because but I think it was Hanna-Barbera. Barba Papa's, I think was the name. I don't know. Clickety click, Barba Trick, Baba Trick. Uh, it's like a family of like blobs, which. Uh, epic title. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Bye, Sam. Schmoo. Wonder Teen Powers Activate. I used to watch Hanna Barbera on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. Bat Fink. Devlin was the stunts guy wearing an Evil Knievel style Elvis jumpsuit and he was always jumping over cliffs. Cartoon Network in the late 80s, early 90s in the UK ran some Hanna Barbera, yeah. Um, Shmoo. That's the name of the show? Shmoo? Shmoo sounds funny. I know it was like the, the, the dad one was a big pink blob there was this daughter that was a black blob i don't remember the exact premise of the show but they could transform into things it's like clickety click bob a trick and they it's it's for years i thought it was crazy for years i couldn't remember the name i couldn't remember anything about the goddamn show except for clickety click bob a trick and if i mentioned it to anybody they thought it was fucking nuts Finally, I figured out what it was called, and I looked into it, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Did some reading. But that, again, was like four or five years ago, and I've completely forgotten everything. The Barbara Papa family. Fuck, that's it. I was right with Barbara Papa. <clears throat> Thank you, Shay. Yes, that is it. Oh, you scratched that brain itch. Thank you. <clears throat> that's a physical itch on my skull. What the fuck? Anyway. On that note, we're at the two-hour mark. I think I'm going to call it there, guys. So, quick draw McGraw. Yeah, he was awesome. Uh, a little late to the party, but made it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Matthew. Just as I'm saying goodbye. Welcome. Go play with your stuff. You got some cool stuff from what I heard, so. Go 
have a coffee and play with your little diamond and wear a shirt. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to call it there. It has been, it has been fun talking to you guys, and I will catch you guys sometime soon in the future. So, Pink Panther, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Harry Mancini? Henry Mancini? Henry Mancini. Anyway, we're getting off topic. We will talk about this some other night. So thank you guys for watching. It has been an awesome two hours hanging out with you. And I hope to see you all very soon. Comfortably signing off. Bye, everybody. Hit the button. And this one, too.